Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about candidiasis. This lecture is in English, and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button and you will get link of Hindi lecture. Or you can directly visit to channel My Student Support System. What is candidiasis? Candidiasis or candidiosis is a mycosis. Mycosis means a fungal infection, usually confined to superficial layers of skin or mucous membrane, and mainly present clinically as oral thrush. So, in examination, you may get short note on oral thrush. Then you have to write the same answer as we are discussing the candidiasis. What is causative agent of candidiasis? Candidiasis is caused by mainly by candida. It is a fungus and a species of candida. Mainly, it is caused by candida albicans and candida tropicalis. But occasionally or sometimes, other species of candida fungus may also affect. Mode of transmission How this disease spreads? Main mode of transmission is direct or indirect contact with the secretions or excretions from mouth or skin or vagina or feces of the patient or carriers. It may also transmit from mother to neonate during childbirth. What are clinical manifestations of this disorder? Candidiasis mainly affects mucosa of oral cavity and the condition is known as oral thrush. There is a white or yellowish patches or thick membrane on inner cheeks, tongue, tonsils, gums or lips or there is slight bleeding when we try to remove this patch. Other clinical Manifestations or symptoms of oral candidiasis may include soreness or burning in the mouth, a cotton-like sensation in the mouth, dry cracked skin at the corners of mouth, difficulty in swallowing, a bad taste or loss of taste. Candidiasis may affect other organs and lead to conditions such as vulvovaginitis, Peronychia or onychomycosis. Ulcers and pseudomembranes may form in the esophagus, stomach, or intestine. Central nervous system means brain and spinal cord, kidneys, spleen, endocardium, liver, eyes, meninges, respiratory and urinary system may also be affected in severe cases. So, how we, you will diagnose? The physical examination and presence of oral thrush may give indication and then laboratory confirmation is done through the demonstration of causative organism in the biopsy or scraping of the patch. Treatment The standard treatment for candidiasis is use of antifungal medicines such as fluconazole, oral tablets, Antifungal mouthwash such as nystatin mouthwash and amphotracin B may be used in severe cases of candidiasis. How you will prevent? Early detection and local treatment of any infection in the mouth, esophagus, urinary bladder or those with predisposing factor is very important to to prevent spread of candidiasis. Fluconazole chemoprophylaxis decreases the incidence of candidiasis for candidates with low immunity such as persons having bone marrow transplantation. <coughs> Antifungal chemoprophylaxis with fluconazole have been found to be effective in preventing oral candidiasis in cancer patients receiving chemotherapy. Concurrent and terminal disinfection of secretions and contaminated articles is effective 
in prevention of candidiasis. Outbreaks are most frequently due to contaminated IV solutions and thrush in nurseries in the newborn. So it is necessary to check presence of fungal infection in the IV fluid bottles before administration. Concurrent and uh, concurrent disinfection and terminal disinfection or cleaning is also used for the prevention of epidemic candidiasis in the hospital nurseries. Thank you students for watching this video. You can subscribe the channel for latest updates. You can like Facebook page and for making your notes, you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.